for this is organisms are also classified by the particular system. Not only the the you can classify everything. Uh, for example, if we are classifying all the, the furniture in this class, a bit good up for the under domains of the category. But this put together, we make two domains depending on a very how many common characters they got. Abi the color part of we get a simple thing. Simple character, we group the desk and the domains. Then we select one group, chair group. So then chair groups we classify brown color chairs, uh, black color chairs, and kingdom. Then we take uh, another one kingdom, this is a brown color chair, kingdom. We uh, design the multi chair, photo chair, here again. Then we select one group and we take the class. And and you know, the you can see 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 the you can Okay. So that is the classification of uh, the living organisms using a taxonomic chart or taxonomic level. So you are the part of it. Yes. Um, you may know that during the formation of the living organisms on the planet Earth, there was evolution. So we had our primitive, or our primitive uh, organisms there. From them. One group of organisms were evolving. From that group, another group was evolved. So, like that, time to time, the organisms were uh, the evolved in this planet Earth. Now we can see different groups of organisms because of this evolution process. So, during the evolution, one group is evolved from another species. So, when we take one group, there may be some different groups were evolved. Then up here, I can't get No, no. Chimpanzee, you know, gorilla, you know. So, or on the minox. Yes, I mean, that means, but we should have a common organism in our the history uh, to derive or to produce these all kinds of groups. So, that one is called our ancestor. That one should be our ancestor. From our ancestor, the different groups are derived. But our ancestor is that organism. So we have that ancestor there. So they are here, they are the ancestor. So now we humans are here. It is our ancestor. But this ancestor were also derived in different groups. So so they were evolved from this particular ancestor. Can, ancestor means you don't think it is as a single organism. Ancestor means a group of organisms, a particular species. For a particular species, we can say are a common characteristic feature. From that particular group, different groups were evolved. Human is one. Okay, so they are four. We have, so when we analyze our different, different characteristic features, there are some similarities between the gorillas and humans, chimpanzees and gorillas. There are similar characteristic features. There will be a Similar characteristics. Why? Because we are derived from a common ancestor. 
segment. Don't get it with you they can compare them. No, because they have different ancestors. But Abhidana seeing you, what do you who so how do you want to talk to me? The lions, tigers, and the, uh, the cats. What do you want to talk to me? Cheetahs, your panthers, cheetahs. So they have similar characteristic features, but they are different species. Right? But why they are having similar characteristic features? Because they had a common ancestor in their history. They were derived from common natural. Lions, dogs, or they had another ancestor. So that means this evolution is the process which is starting from a common ancestor. So if you are a cutting ancestral cutter, we have different different types of ancestors there. So that is how this evolution for this uh, the, the diversity of the living organisms occurs in the planet Earth. But initially we had ancestors. Understood? So then you should remember that. So we are derived, derived again, we are the creative here. So we that's human, the species build up here from a common ancestor. Why we call common ancestor? Because some other groups also evolved from that ancestors. Other groups also evolved. So therefore, when we are evolving from a common ancestor, we have similar features with other groups also. We have similar the other groups. That is called the ancestor. I, I think you can have the idea about that. DNA sequencing evidence. DNA sequencing evidences provide provide close Related with the other DNA sequencing evidences provide information about that how organisms are closely related with each other. Yes. So that. Ancestor. Common ancestors is Even 
if if a group of organisms can produce fertile offspring that group is belong to the same species right okay. uh, there are different organisms right Now, we give the name sense. This is a B, C, D, E, like how to make out fertile offspring in Hadi? Because when we compare the organism, we can create the groups who are sharing common characteristic features. And this group of organisms which share the common characteristics can produce fertile offspring after reproduction. Okay, so then, so here when A and C may treat each other, so they may produce a fertile offspring. Once we can perpetuate something like that. Fertile, what is fertile? Fertile offspring. Huh? Yes, fertile means that body patty at the puna locula. It can produce, it reproduce, and make another organism. Then it's fertile. And it's very infertile. Infertile means they cannot produce. And here, like that, uh, B, A, and B, B. So they may belong to the same group because they share common characteristics. They believe that produce fertile offspring. And B and E. Accidentally, B and E get made with each other. Can they produce fertile offspring? They cannot produce offsprings, or sometimes they make offspring, but not fertile. They may produce offsprings, but not fertile. They may produce offspring, but they are not fertile. So why? What is the reason? So they make both things, but that both things cannot continue their journey because reason is B and E are not belong to the same species. For example, now you know that uh, uh, the, the uh, horse and the donkey can mate. Donkey and the horse can mate and produce the offspring called. Uh, Mule. Mule not. But can mule continue a generation? Two mules they made that no, they don't have that type of reproductive uh, the reproductive development. They are not producing fertile offspring. The mule are not producing. The humans are doing that. Humans can they are not made for the humans. No, they can't reproduce them. They are not producing male gametes. The gametes are the nest and no fertilization. Fertile land. 
to make that is the only natural taxonomic level present in the environment. According to that uh, region, the taxonomic system, the linear system, in this term again, natural area of the only the species. Right. Now, 